what's going on with you guys thank you for tapping in with me again today and if you're new to the channel i'm cleveland so welcome to another episode of tapping in today and um happy friday guys i hope everybody had a good week i know i did but anyway so i want to talk to you guys about something that me and aida was speaking about yesterday um it was something that a lot of us in the hobby may have experienced or uh, we know somebody that have experienced and we may know a little bit about it or we might not know enough about it um so overfeeding so i know many of us have overfed fish and uh, we understand that we shouldn't do it it's just not healthy for the fish or whatever we might understand that it just get provides bad water quality but how in depth do you understand the reason behind not overfeeding i like i said i think on the surface on the surface level of it it's as simple as saying that it's just bad for the fish. It's just not healthy for the fish, things like that. But when you dig deeper in it, you understand, I'm gonna use this aquarium as a reference. You're gonna understand the reason behind why you shouldn't overfeed in depth. So, look at it this way. Understand this, when you feed your fish, you are adding ammonia into your aquarium. When they produce the waste from eating the food, they create ammonia in the aquarium. So the thing is, when I feed my fish, I feed just, a, just enough to where they still look a little hungry when I'm done feeding. I never feed them to the point to where they don't wanna eat any more pellets. I'd rather feed under than over. And I've learned that from, from experience. The thing about it, I'll show you. I got about, maybe half a bag of food left. Do you know that if I poured this whole bag of food in this tank and left it there, I'll kill every fish in the tank? Did you know that? If you overfeed your fish and you do not take out the food, that leftover food, all it's going to do is just decay in the water, keep elevating the, the ammonia levels to toxic levels to where you're gonna kill your fish. So that's why it is very important not to, kill, not to overfeed. You could overfeed your aquarium and crash any aquarium at any time. So understand that the benefit of having this beneficial bacteria in the aquarium, this ties into that. That's why the beneficial bacteria is so important. The beneficial bacteria facilitates the nitrogen cycle. So our fish produce waste naturally from you know when they defecate which is you know when they poop any any waste that they produce in the water you know what i mean that's going to create ammonia if you feed your fish that's going to create that's going to create ammonia so what the beneficial bacteria does is it takes that ammonia converts it into nitrites then it converts into two nitrates now this is how you create that ecosystem if you have plants the plants are going to eat up the nitrates. The only other way to remove the nitrates is by water changes. That's how you're going to remove those nitrates. Water changes, plants. If you want, your, if you want to turn it into an ecosystem, load your tank up with plants. I'm putting plants in this above the tank sump in the next couple of days. I hope you catch that video. But make sure you're doing it that way water changes so the reason why the water changes is so important is because if you don't do your water changes all that bad bacteria all the nitrates will still sit in the tank and it would eventually crash your tank because you have to take out some of it so your beneficial bacteria can't handle the bad bacteria so if it's too much of that in the water your your your, your beneficial bacteria could only could only handle so much you don't want to overload your beneficial bacteria. So that's why we do the water changes. That's why the plants, that's why, you know what I'm saying? That's why we try, we try to get our hand in and remove these nitrates to assist with our beneficial bacteria. We're working together. We're working with our beneficial bacteria. So making sure that you're not overfeeding is you working with your beneficial bacteria. So that's the system. And, I, and that's really... Not the nutshell, that's the long version of it. And that's the version that you wanna remember. You wanna remember again, let's talk about it. Let's, let's go ahead and let's talk about what we just covered. Overfeeding. The reason why you don't overfeed is because you're gonna to put too much ammonia in your aquarium. 
You don't want to overfeed because you don't want to kill your fish, right? You don't overfeed because you want to make sure that you are allowing your beneficial bacteria to handle the nitrates and the nitrites and the things that's in the water, right? That's, that's basically the understanding of it. If, if you understand it in that version, instead of just thinking that it's just not, it's not good to feed the fish, you understand that you don't want to crash your aquarium. You don't want to kill your fish. That's why you don't overfeed. It's the short version, this very simplistic version is that it's just not good for the fish. So feed sparingly, feed them, leave them a little hungry. Never feed them to the point to where they're gluttons, where they're looking fat in the stomach because you don't wanna create bloat. It's very unhealthy to have an obese fish. So do right by your fish, don't overfeed, and remember that overfeeding destroys your nitrogen cycle. It will crash your aquarium, it will kill your fish. So that's why you don't overfeed. And I hope that this was helpful for you. If you didn't know, if this, and again, this is not for, you know, some of you Aquarius that's been doing this for 10, 20, 30 years that already know this, you know, some, some, some of my subscribers are a little young and they may not know this. So they may need to hear this and they need to have it broken down to them in that way. Um, if you guys want to want to chime in in the comments, I appreciate it. Let's talk about this. But um, I appreciate you guys for, t for stopping by, watching another episode of Tapping In. It's early. I'm in a robe. We got work to do later on today, but I wanted to get this out to you. And I was just talking about this with my girlfriend yesterday. So, you know, when it's fresh on my mind, we're going to get there. We're going to get to it. So uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram at The Fish Corner. Follow me on Facebook, The Fish Corner. Follow me on TikTok, The Fish Corner. And I'll catch you guys a little bit later.